Let's explore how to fix the issue when HC05 Bluetooth module doesn't show up or you can say not detected by Android app. In the latest Android phones, we solve this issue by manually turning on the Bluetooth permissions. Let me show you the complete process step by step. Thanks to Altium Software for sponsoring this video. Altium is all-in-one platform for all the needs of PCB design. The cloud-based Altium 365 offers seamless collaboration between engineers along with version control capabilities. Please visit the link in the video description to learn more about Altium 365. With built-in Octoparts, engineers can quickly search electronic components with accurate and complete data for millions of electronic components. You can download free trial with the link given in a video description. Also, you can sign up with the link altium.com forward slash yt slash binary update. So the first thing is that you have to take care that your Bluetooth is turned on. So let me show you here. I can turn on the Bluetooth on mobile phone. So once the Bluetooth is turned on, then you can see like many people are complaining me from my previous lesson that their Bluetooth HC05 is not detected when they click this button LED Bluetooth. And then look at this HC05 doesn't show up. So that's the complaint that everybody is making. So let me just go back and show you. Once you turn on the Bluetooth on your mobile phone, then you have to go to the Bluetooth settings. So here is the settings and uh, let me pair the Bluetooth device so go to Bluetooth you can see under available devices your HC05 shows up so let me click on HC05 and then I have to put the passcode that's a one two three four by default and click on OK and now your HC05 will show up under the paired devices you can see now HC05 shows up on the top so it's now paired now if I go to app that's a custom Bluetooth app so if I click on this LED Bluetooth button, you can see HC05 shows up. Now many people are complaining that this HC05 doesn't show up here and that has to do with the Bluetooth permissions. Because this day's Bluetooth is become more and more vulnerable for your digital security, you have to turn on the permissions on your mobile phone so that you give the permission to this Bluetooth app to access the Bluetooth on your mobile phone. To do that, you have to go to settings again. So go to settings and under settings, first you have to go to Bluetooth options and under Bluetooth options if you scroll down till the end you see there's an additional setting option there I hope you can see additional settings if you go there then there is a checkbox which says pair compatible devices and connect to nearby devices otherwise if you are using uh, Android phone from other manufacturers so because every manufacturer has a different settings here but there will be a checkbox where you have to check and allow the Bluetooth device to scan the other Bluetooth device the Bluetooth from this mobile phone would able to scan this HC05 Bluetooth module okay so you have to check this box here so check this box here and once that is done you have to go back and go back to the settings you have to go to apps under apps you have to go to manage apps you can go to permissions and make sure all the permission that you have enabled so this all permission you have enabled if that is done then the most important part is go to manage apps and under manage app you can search your app with the name so let's say if I search my app that's a uh, Bluetooth so go to Bluetooth app and here you can see app permission so go to app permissions and you see uh, allowed and you can click on that if doesn't go further then you can scroll down somewhere you will see uh, the settings here okay so other permissions and you can see there are a couple of permissions so let me just allow all the permissions then you can just say always allow and now I have given all the permissions so once you give all the permissions to your app then your mobile app that's a Bluetooth mobile app can able to access the Bluetooth of your mobile phone so now if you click on Bluetooth LED Bluetooth button once you click on LED Bluetooth button then you can able to see HC05 shows up so let me select HC05 let me select HC05. It takes a little bit of time sometimes if it's crazy. And now you see the button name has been turned from LED Bluetooth to it says now it's a connected. So let me click this button on button and LED turns on. When I click on off button, you see LED goes off. So now you can see I can able to control this LED. So the first thing you have to make sure all the permissions are given to the Android app. That's a Bluetooth app that we have developed. The second problem that many people does is they connect this TX and RX 
RX the way around. So the TX will connect to RX of HC05 and RX of Arduino will connect to the TX. You have to be very very careful. Sometimes people see that LED doesn't turn on and off because you connect external LED and there's a possibility you probably will make observational error and then you can put this LED into the other pins because they are too close to each other. Sometimes we often make a mistakes. So let me turn off and you can see there's a built-in LED that also you have to focus on. So when I click the on button you can see the built-in LED this orange LED also lights up. So if your external LED doesn't turn on you have to look for this built-in LED. So if that works that means your external LED connections are wrong that you have to concentrate on. I hope now this uh, probably help you to solve the issue with your HC05 Bluetooth module and your Android app that you have created Bluetooth app. If you want to learn more and create Android app from scratch using MIT App Inventor the first part of this video link can be found in a video description. I hope you have found this video educational and entertaining. Thank you very much.